provide these services significantly. Right? So we're saying, where are we going to get the 40%? I particularly um, applied to be sponsored or sponsored on this platform because I noticed that it is not sufficient to have gone through school and law school and the knowledge that we get there is not really applicable in the legal practice as it is today. And so um, when I saw that this course is about emerging areas of law, you know, intellectual property, fintech and all those areas of law, I was really interested because the legal practice um, in Nigeria is heading towards these areas of law. It's gone through first reading, second reading. It's at Barry's desk. What are you going to do? Well, um, this degree in which has, the course has been quite unhelpful in the sense that it uh, opened my mind this couple of days, this past two days, to really discovering that there is much more than just which I can find myself to. And um, I wish to take a lot back home, not just. But well, here I have seen wide aspects of the law. It's mind blowing. Today I was like, my mind, my mouth was open. I'm like, what is it? What we don't know this in the uh, in the north, and it is uh, with the north, especially the dynasty where I come from, where um, the governor is trying to open channels. The, the need, there is a need for specialization in the field of law. So I feel um, this is an opportunity for me to learn and. Um, broaden my horizons and open pathways in the northern part of the country. Being here and trying to learn about emerging areas, let me take for example like my state, Cross River State, Tourism State. We have this carnival every year and we have um, artists coming into the state and performing and I, 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 I get to meet them and most of the time they kind of like want to contact me to know okay what do I do concerning okay how to get my monies, how to do this, how to do I didn't know from A to Z what to do so I'm really really grateful being here with all the knowledge I've gathered I, I want to be an entertainment expert like I am really really grateful for this opportunity thank you so much I'm extremely delighted that I was able to make it today because it gave me a better sense of uh, what the experience is. And I can report back or give the feedback to my friends who came together to put this, uh, make this possible. Um, the whole point of these um, young lawyers being here for this, uh, this um, training is to firstly see if there's any way their various practices can be impacted. Uh, to see how they can get uh, a broader view of legal practice so that when they go back, they can adjust and um, you know, approach practice from a much, uh, much more enlightened perspective. So far, I have learned a lot the area of taxation, taxation, fintech, even media and entertainment law, and project finance. All those are areas that are interesting, and I would like to get more knowledge on them, which would help me in my work area. Um, Yimika Adishola, who, is, who runs Legally Engaged, is herself a lawyer, so she is quite uh, abreast with the challenges that young lawyers face. Uh, in terms of uh, um, cutting their teeth in practice. And so she decided to do this, to set up Legally Engaged as a, as a training ground for young lawyers. And, and, and when she introduced the concept to me, I was, I mean, I was sold immediately because I have been involved in legal practice for 25 years and I know 
and the challenges that she identified are real. Uh, they're not imagined and as such it was uh, it made sense to collaborate with her in previous years. Um, coming to the 2020 session, um, when uh, when uh, when I when I when I was informed that there was another session for this year, I, I, I sold the idea to my friends who, who share the same uh, uh, aspirations as I do as far as legal practice is concerned. But maybe we should try this year and see how many young lawyers we can get in to the training and to ensure that we are making or preparing lawyers that are fit for the future. Uh, uh, the future is indeed upon us. I was inspired to start Legally Engaged um, really by the problems that were around me, the problems I saw in my profession and the problem that I, because I'm a young lawyer myself, that I encountered firstly with information about my profession and also with what I felt was my lack of an unemployable as we could be. One of the biggest things that we would hear at conferences and a lot of legal seminars is that our law graduates are unemployable. So I was inspired by the fact that I felt that I could do something to fill in that gap and to be part of the solution and not part of the people that are speaking about the problem. So Legally Engaged really just exists, I always say primarily for one reason, which is to increase the employability of the Nigerian lawyer, of the Nigerian student, Nigerian law graduate, so that when we leave the university or we leave the law school, we can add more value to our employers or even to ourselves for people that decide to go into private practice. So the experience of the Legally Engaged training sponsored by Friends of Olu Media Quarter, for me has been inspirational to say the least. Eye-opening and has moved me from general lawyer to a business acumen personality. I'm, I'm so inspired and I want to go back and give out, you know, from what I learned my only two way. I feel really great that they can do this. I'm inspired that they did this. Um, so far the training has been mind-blowing. It has uh, broadened our minds, our horizons to imagine areas of the law and it is unquantifiable what this knowledge will afford us to do in our respective places. Many thanks to friends of Olumide Akwata for putting this together. It was, we, it was an all-expense-paid program. We had 30 people coming from almost all of the branches in, 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 around Nigeria. Happy from Kanu, Kaduna, happy from Abuja, we had people from Makodi, Enugu, Nsuka, Aba, Oweri, and different parts of the country participating in this. So it was all expense paid, transport, transport fare was taken care of by friends from Middle Abata. The cost, the cost um, fees was taken care of accommodation, feeding while in Lagos and everything. And I am very pleased to be part of this. It goes to show how much support Olumi Dabata has had for lawyers in the, in the many years that I have known him. And it's not something that we plan to stop. Friends of Olu Akbata, you know, have been very wonderful. Honestly, I just, I pray that they will continue to replicate this kind of art in all the states in Nigeria, if it is possible. But one thing I'm praying to God for is to be able to join this committee of Friends of Olu Akbata so that I will be able to give back to the society because that's what life is all about. I am eternally grateful to friends of Ulua Pata for this wonderful gesture. It's something I will continue to cherish for the rest of my life. It's fantastic. I, I mean, we met him, we had the pleasure of meeting him and he was a fantastic person. You know, he's, 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 he's chosen to mentor a few people. He has even pointed a few people towards the direction of good mentors. So I believe, I believe this experience is it's second to none, really. I consider myself privileged and lucky to participate in this uh, training. So it's been wonderful. It's, it's actually an opportunity of a lifetime. And, and I'm happy I'm here. It's a, it's a classical example of excellence. Anything Ulua Pata touches, it prospers. So uh, this is not the first time he's doing this. It has always been an area of interest for him, for people to thrive in this profession. Not just young lawyers, believe me, not just young lawyers. I'm okay, um, so grateful to the friends of Olumide Apata for this opportunity. I never believed I was going to be selected, though I, I applied and yeah, I am. I'm so happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you once again. Practice profession course has been eye-opening. Legally engaged has been outstanding. These people have had the opportunity to, to gain first-hand experience of the fact that there are different other uh, practice areas 
you know, that a lawyer can venture into. So it is very, very commendable and um, I wish to, to congratulate Friends of Women Media Quota and say that I look forward to more of this happening. But you must take your future in your own hands and you can't wait for all these bodies that I've mentioned. You must, that's why we're hoping that we can do all of, do this here and, um, and you know, agitate your own minds and see how you can uh, begin to improve yourself uh, some more. It is not easy and uh, when you are dealing with bread and butter issues on a day-to-day -day basis, I recognize that sometimes it's difficult to begin to think big picture. But big, think big picture you must. Because as you know, they say when we fail to plan, we plan to fail. So that's it. Thank you very much. Indeed, uh, the last uh, NBA MO General Conference, which I uh, co-chaired, the planning committee of which I co-chaired, um, the, the theme was facing the future. So everybody is, everybody is in agreement that we must begin to anticipate, contemplate and prepare for the future. And um, the classes here are, are small. Uh, resources and space constraints will not allow uh, them do more than they are currently able to do. Um, it's a class of about 60 people. We were able to send 30. So 50% of the class are actually uh, the young, uh, made up, is made up of the young girls who are sponsored by friends of uh, Ulumi Media Aquata. But the whole idea is that we, we may be able to plant a seed with this effort. The, you know, we may be able to plant a seed in the minds of those who are charged with uh, making policy determining how legal education in Nigeria should go, they may be able to agree with us that this is the way to go. Lawyers should be trained, you know, in subject matter areas that are contemporary, that are relevant to today's world, today's economies. So who knows, the classroom you have seen today, which is just one small classroom of 60 people at a seminar organized by a private individual. In another couple of years, that may be what the law school in Nigeria will look like. The subjects being taught here today may be the subjects that the law school in Nigeria will, imbi or will uh, include in its curriculum, or maybe our universities. But one thing is clear in our minds that this is the way to go. If we don't train our lawyers in this way, our lawyers will not be fit for the future. And then we will have, and you know, nature abhors a vacuum. If we don't have lawyers who are fit for the future, other lawyers who are fit will come and fill up that space.